Let's do some neutral safety switch troubleshooting. I have a 66 Chevelle and that neutral safety switch is on the column. Could also be on the shift lever if you have one, but it can apply to many, many vehicles. So this neutral safety switch is giving me some issues. Um, some people don't know how it's connected. And um, so let's take a quick look at it. Here on the neutral safety switch here, This little tab moves left and right. If it's in park, reverse, neutral, that's how it knows to give the starter power or not. These purple wires here are power that goes to the starter. We got some power that comes in and gets sent out to the reverse lights as well. So if um, this is bad, you'll have some starter issues. So no cranking issues. I moved it around, found out that it's not bad. The problem is it was installed improperly. Um, best way to really check if it's bad or not is the continuity with a multimeter. But if you don't have a multimeter, you can play around with this to see if it, it works. The reverse lights go on. It doesn't start in all gears. Because if it does start in every gear, every position you put it in, it's bad. So let me show you how to install it. You want to make sure that this little, like this little mouth here, goes in the tab on the column if you feel around on top of the column you'll find the opening metal tab on there and uh, you can adjust this in the right position to make sure it goes on and then you want to make sure that uh, you put in the screws but don't do it too tight because you want to be able to adjust this so once you kind of have it in there in position uh, put the car in reverse make sure the car is blocked or you have the emergency brake on but why you want to put it in, re in reverse is you want to find um, the right position where the reverse lights go on. Okay, so put it in reverse, but don't start it, but just have the ignition on so it has power, so the lights can turn on. You adjust it so until the reverse lights go on. Okay, so let's go over that one more time. You have it in, in gear, it's in reverse, excuse me. You have the ignition on, and you adjust it until those reverse lights go on. Once those reverse lights go on, you know it's properly adjusted into reverse. So then you can tighten down those screws and then put it back in the park and everything should be a-okay. Uh, another tip that I found was if this neutral safety switch is bad, you're not going to get a little tick sound from the starter. You're going to get nothing. You're going to turn the key. It's going to make zero sound. It's not going to make a tick like it's trying to start. It's going to make no sound at all. So that's an indicator that there's a problem with a neutral safety switch when you get zero sound when you turn the ignition.